Alright guys, this video is to show the setup that I have for breeding the spotted salamanders, uh, Vistima maculatum. There's one of my females. Uh, anyway, it's a standard Sterilite tub, 38 by 18 inches. Not sure how deep, that doesn't really matter. They only need about 4 inches of dirt. So, here is one of the females. I'm not sure what she's doing out. I think she's the one that laid her eggs last night. So, her male should... Yep, should be right under here. That's her little boyfriend. They make a cute couple. And there should be three of them under this rock. Two females. Oh, there's two. Oh, that's all three of them. The one's just facing the wrong way. Uh, the one with his head out on the top of the screen is the male. Uh, the other two are females who have not yet laid their eggs. This is the water that they'll breed in. Uh, I keep this on so that, not that there's much of a likelihood that they'd ever drown, but just to make sure they have an easy way out. Also, the holes in the grate seem to be uh, a very slick plastic that's easy for the female to draw the spermatophore off of. Really not sure what she's doing now. That's kind of strange after she just laid her eggs. Anyway, they lay their egg mass in here and then the eggs go in here. Don't worry about that one that's all broke up. That was actually uh, one about half of them hatched and the other uh, embryos stayed all white. They weren't fertilized for some reason. But anyway, this is the pool that they go in once they hatch. Uh, I do put a screen over the filter. Obviously, you don't want the little guys getting uh, getting eaten up by the filter. But there's an air stone, and unfortunately, there's a snail. Can't get rid of those guys once they get in there. But this is the setup that I have. Um, I usually bring about one and a half cups of detritus and sit it on the rock formation in the middle to give them something a little better to hide in. They do share this area with some invertebrates. I've got uh, water fleas breeding in here, uh, as well as a couple different species of amphipods that I use as their primary food source. I don't feed them once they're in there. But there you have it. This is my basic setup for my adults. Oh, you pull your head out this time. Not so shy. Now, anyway, my basic setup for the adults and the, uh, the breeding setup for the babies. So, at the end of uh, the season, when they start to morph and they come out of the water, I'll do a segment on the starter set. Uh, hopefully, we'll get 40 or 50 babies out of this hatch, and I have two more females that lay, so might end up with up to 150 little ones hatching out, depending on how they do in there.